Hello everybody and welcome to Morzak EV, a channel dedicated to all things electric vehicles, electric vehicle charging and all related technologies. And today we're talking to Flav, the CEO from Hypervolt. Hi everyone, uh, it's a great pleasure to meet you, uh, to meet you all on the Morzak EV channel and uh, thank you so much for, for uh, inviting me here Lee. So Flav's been giving us a demonstration of some of the future features on the Hypervolt Home 2.0. Um, we've had a really fun day, uh, tried out the unit, tried out some of the uh, features that are present at the moment, some that are coming shortly. So anybody who's got a Hypervolt Home 2.0 or is purchasing one soon, this is uh, some of the things that will be available. Um, so we thought while Flav is here, we'll have a chat with him, talk about um, who Hypervolt are, what you're doing, and then um, some of the things that are coming in the future. Um, so yeah, thank you very much. Um, we got started about three years ago, so we're kind of new in the marketplace and we had to do kind of a lot of work to catch up with all the great stuff out there, both in terms of hardware and software. Uh, but at core, uh, we are software people. Um, we've got good hardware expertise. Um, and the goal we have in our heads is to put something really awesome, really good looking, and not just look at this like a piece of plastic, but make it something that's part of your life because it's going to enable you to transition to green energy, to EV, um, and it should be affordable for everybody. So that's kind of our, our core mission is not to produce something that, you know, is going to be crazy expensive, it's going to cost thousands of pounds to maintain. So a couple of awesome things about Hypervolt is you actually get updates over the air and they really work and we do it all for you. You get Alexa integration, you get a free um, web platform to control your charging, uh, monitor your spending, monitor solar, everything you want to do with it really and then you get also iPhone and Android apps and they're all free from you know the App Store and the Play Store um, and they really work which is which is good so we work really really hard to really give a smooth experience Uh, how did how did Hypervolt get started? How did you get off the ground? What was your driving force? So uh, the driving force has always been uh, green energy and renewables. Um, personally, I've been very passionate about that for, for, for a very long time, really. Um, kind of reading about, you know, the, the work of kind of the greats out there. Um, and Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos and the work they've done to kind of set this huge foundation. Um, you know, have the electric car that's affordable that looks good because if you think of history you know Henry Ford had an electric car in the 20s and then it kind of never happened so you, know, you ask yourself why that is um, and maybe we're lucky to live in this era of technology and software and things moving so fast so um, I guess like what drives us is really to do uh, to do our bit for the world and kind of take it uh, take the, the the amazing platform that we were born into uh, living in this 21st century era where we can sit on our computers and build apps and kind of really contribute and add value to people's lives. So um, that really excites us. Um, we've got a very long roadmap. We're looking at probably 10 years ahead of uh, hopefully really great products that you will all enjoy one day. Um, it's not too much I can give out today, but um, yeah, um, we've got a long future ahead. We're going to work very, very hard. And I think the founding team kind of shares this vision that, um, you know, yes, uh, you can do business and you can do this kind of thing, but that's not really what, what, what what drives us and that's why we um, started working together um, and hopefully you know using the skills that we have and kind of that deep expertise in, in software um, and married with really good hardware and affordable hardware um, we can enable some some great things out here and you know we'd like to make a British company really prove itself worthy of a, of a Silicon Valley title almost right yeah and prove that you know great startups and great tech you know can come outside of California it can happen outside of California one of the things that attracted us to Hypervolt was um, after chatting with, I think it was Nick I started mm -hmm. speaking to first, 
and um, we, I, I just I felt the conversations. It felt like it, it, the companies carried a similar ethos. We, we come from different backgrounds and and mm -hmm. moved into the uh, clean energy sector because um, it was something that we were passionate about and we wanted to make that difference. And it seemed like it was a good fit between the two companies. Well, and certainly. yeah, it's uh, it's it's nice to. Finally, obviously, we haven't been able to meet in person as much as we'd like to, but it's, you know, with things opening up, it's, you know, doing it safely, it's, we've been able to do that. So it's, it's been a good experience today, so. I think you've already mentioned, so the Hypervolt is made in the UK, designed and made? Everything's made in the UK, everything's manufactured, assembled, all the software gets written in the UK. Uh, we're based just um, just a short 10 minutes from Canary Wharf, um, and that's kind of the plan, right? Like our ultimate mission, uh, amongst other things. Um, and perhaps it's, it's naive in a sense, you know, everybody manufactures in Asia and does all these things, but we think we've got a great network of, of British suppliers. There's a lot we do in here. We design our circuit boards here. Um, we design all our software here, all our enclosures here. You know, we, we try as much as possible to use local suppliers and kind of, um, we've had the great pleasure to be funded by the, by the UK government through our UK for several grants. And I think we've successfully delivered, you know, really great technology that's gonna come out um, to all of our customers kind of by, by end of year. And uh, it's our way of saying, you know, loyalty to, um, of ultimately the um, public money that's come, you know, uh, that's been given to us to to put this great technology in, in all of your hands. So we feel a bit responsible of that um, in, in a great way and to say thank you and to say, look, ultimately, maybe the next Google can come from London. Obviously, we're an installation partner. We hope to grow the relationship as both companies grow. What do you look for in an installation partner? Um, just really the same etiquette and approach that we have. So uh, we don't like shipping junk. And it's kind of a famous line that I'm kind of paraphrasing here for, from one of my personal idols, which is, uh, which is Steve Jobs. Um, and the thing I really admire about him was really this insane passion of kind of trying very hard to get everything right. Now, it's a different company, it's a different era, of course, like there are a lot of differences, so in, in no way I'm trying to compare. And we'd like our installation partners to kind of adhere to the same uh, quality standard. Uh, really, what drives us is uh, this kind of insane obsession with customer experience. And if you're gonna read our reviews, they're all five stars. As an installer, we feel like a bad product could give us a bad name straight away. And it's gonna be the same with you guys, I guess, yeah, where um, a bad installer will give <laughs> give your product a bad name. So it's about getting all the steps in the process, right, like you say. So our view is we should work with some of the greatest um, installers in the UK and people that, you know, take pride in their work and kind of en enable them via software, you know, to, to uh, accelerate this transition a lot faster and make it more efficient and ultimately more affordable for, for everybody out there. Alexa, ask my Hypervolt current status. Your car is being charged at zero amps. Alexa, ask my Hypervolt to enable scheduled charging. Scheduled charging has been enabled for your car. Alexa, ask my Hypervolt to set brightness to 50%. Setting brightness to 50%. Alexa, ask my Hypervolt to set brightness to zero. Setting brightness to 0%. Alexa, ask my Hypervolt to set brightness to max. Setting brightness to 100%. Looking forward towards the future, mm. what's next for Hypervolt and in terms of, you know, one year, five years, 10 years? Um, yeah, okay, so in the short term, um, we've got a couple more products launching. I won't give too much detail, but I will say we're gonna complete the offer in terms of things like three phase and DC chargers and uh, there's a huge amount of software coming. There's just a huge amount of software coming from kind of all ends to satisfy the different types of customers that we have, to satisfy the needs of installers to operate faster um, and all these things. And if we're thinking, if we're thinking ahead, maybe five, 10 years, um, 
all going to be available in multiple countries. We kind of are already. Um, we're, we're through Europe, through the US a little bit. Um, we're going to expand our presence and hopefully, you know, kind of give the Hyperport brand um, a way to, to meet demand um, across the world. Um, and then, yeah, uh, a lot a lot more awesome products. And um, we've got some pretty ambitious ultimate goals, but, um, you know, uh, you have to win the battle before you win the war. So our eyes are now on the present and how we do the best job possible in there. Great. Thank you very much. So if you like the video, give us a cheeky thumbs up on that like button. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more videos. In the meantime, thanks very much for watching. Alexa, ask my hypervolt to turn on disco fever. Groovy baby. Alexa, ask my hypervolt to cancel party mode. Disco will never die. Party pooper.